what up everyone um so good day good day welcome everyone welcome everyone hit that like button guys hit that like button as you're far away yeah so my new device you know so i'm mr lennox benny yeah what's king yeah all right so um we're looking at this this is what we call a standardized test so it's basically a worldwide test it's not just limited to one section of the world but a worldwide it's a grade seven test so for the PEP students, if you know a PEP students, just hit them up right, right now. Hit them up right, right now. Send the video to the parents. Send the video on social media. Your exams coming up in March. It's gonna be very, very rough. It's gonna be, oh my God. Share the video for them now. Or if not, like the video so YouTube can recommend it to somebody. All right, just like the video guys, like the video. All right, it says, what is the value of three in the in 23,317. As usual, them always start them off very easy, nice, and all of that. All right, so that's three. So it's 3,000, right? So it's 3,000. So that would be all right. It's a Peter subtract eight from 24. He then divide the answer he gets by four. What is the result? Again, guys, you are encouraged to go ahead and try. Now let us see. Peter subtract eight from twenty-four. So we have twenty-four. He then subtract eight. So let's do that. So he's left with sixteen now. All right. And he divides the answer by four. So sixteen divided by Four. So that should give us four. All right, so let's move on. So that is B. Let's move on to number three. All right, it says, what is the result of a half plus a quarter plus one eighth? Now, guys, when we are adding or subtracting a fraction, we must bring them to a common denominator, all right? So this is a denominator, so we have to bring them to a common denominator. And by saying that, what we mean is that we must find a number that all three of these numbers, two, four, and eight, can go in without a remainder. Normally we use the lowest one, doesn't necessarily have to be the lowest one, but it's best we use the lowest one. So that would be eight, we can go into eight four times, four into eight two times, eight into itself one time. Hit that like button, guys. If I just start drawing, hit the like button, see you win. So two into eight, and if you're not subscribed, do so. Two into eight goes four times. So we multiply it by the numerator. So one times four is four. Four into eight goes two times. We multiply one by two. We get two. Remember the sign. Eight into itself one. So what we do? We multiply one by one, and any number multiplied by one is itself. So four plus two is six plus one is seven. So that seven over eight. All right. Let's go, guys. Hit the like button. Share, share, share. All right, let's look at number four. And it says, James scored 60% in a test, expressed his percentage as a fraction of in its lowest term. Now, my PEP students can tell you that percentage means out of 100, right? So percent means out of 100. So it will be 60 out of 100, and we break it down to its lowest Terms. You guys should be able to do that. We can divide by 10 and then we divide by 2. 6 can go into 2. 2 can go into 6 rather. 3 times 10 divided by 2 is 5. So there we have it. Our answer is 3 out of 5. Let's just see if number 5 is here. I need to insert. Some of these people I need to go through them before you know. I don't know, guys. 
so let me set um, time is very limited so i think i have time to go through it thoroughly all right so let's look at number five which of the following is the same as 345 so we can eliminate this three four is 12 five that are 60. it's a times number got two big so we eliminate them all right no fancy nothing just do them as we go along 300 plus 40 that's 340 plus 5. So there we have it. Our winner is C. All right. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button if you're just joining. All right. And this is the foundation to C sec. So everybody who has the C sec, you should also go through this. All right. What is the ratio? What is the ratio? 25 to 30 in its lowest form. So notice that they say in its lowest form. So what we need to do is we're going to break down this 25 to 30. If you want, you can put it as a fraction, all right? It doesn't matter. So we're going to find a number that can go into 5 and 30 without a remainder. I don't need a fraction here. So first is going to see it. So it's very important to me that you understand exactly what's happening. So we can divide by five. So that will give us five. And we divide by five. It's almost like equivalent factor, ain't it? You know, my, my students, my students do it. So it's five to six. The order is very important, all right? So it's five to six. Notice that they put six to five. No, it's not. I cannot put all oh, six right. So. All right, so that would be A. All right, it says express 205 divided by 1,000 as a decimal number. Now, all, how I tell my students this, for every natural number, decimal point is X at the right, right here. So the decimal point is right here. When we are dividing by 1,000, how will we count the number of zeros? One, two, three, or ten for that matter, are hundred, right? I'm gonna move the decimal place to our left three times. One, two, three, based on the number of zeros. So we have three zeros, so we're gonna move it three place to our left. So let's go one, two, three. So the decimal point will come right here. So it's zero point two zero five, and that is B for Bennett. All right, let's go to number eight. What is the next number in the following number pattern? So we left from 36 to 27, and then we go 19, and then we go 12. All right, let me just see what's happening, guys. Um, let me make it. So 36, uh, that could be minus nine. All right, hold on. Let me see so. so let us see. These are for these numbers. Let us see they are minus nine. Let us see if the same thing goes from here. So 27. Oh, the minus 8 this time. All right, so the minus 8, minus 7. So I guess you have a minus 6, so that will leave us with 6. Now is it like these? You just definitely have to use your mathematical skills that is why you must practice maths all right my pep students i'm a grade seven all right so which of the following fraction is equivalent to four over nine see 10 over 25. first of all guys um whatever the answer is it must be a multiple of four right so it only can be this four times four And four times nine, or nine times four rather. So that's 16 over 36. Let us discuss this a little bit. Couldn't be 10 because there's no one number you can multiply four by two to be 10, right? So right away, it's either this or this. And then now we go down to the nine. It must be a multiple of nine. And 35 is not a multiple of nine, and 36 is not. So that would leave us with it. So even if you never understand, it must be a multiple of 
All right, so let's move on to 10. <clears throat> Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button if you're just joining. Share with someone. Come on. Don't be selfish now. All right. Number 10 says, evaluate 24 minus 3 times 5 plus 18 divided by 6. And what you call this? Order of operation. So this is order of operation. Now the rule state that we must multiply first we must multiply first to the division addition and subtraction last so we could do that now so it's three before we write all right somebody call me but i have to ignore that call because what's call right now all right sorry about that All right, so we have to do the multiplication. So 3, 5, 15. Can just put back the rest? So it's 24 minus 15. And then we divide. So it's multiplication, division. 18 divided by that leave. 3. 18 divided by 16. 3. All right. So we can add first. So it would be. Oh, I don't know, box here. So this is a negative 15, so it would leave negative 12, so it's 24 minus 12. And 24 minus 12 will leave us with 12, so our answer is 8. Right. Number 11, it says express 42 as a product of its prime factors. Prime factors. And we know that. I just did this the other day, and oh my, my students shell down this topic. I was so impressed. So it's six times seven. Now seven is a prime number. However, six is not a prime number. You guys should see a video on this. I'm telling you, we are doing some awesome stuff in class. Awesome. I mean, I literally look forward to class. I must actually know what it is. They're just phenomenal. I don't know when I start doing our work yet. All right, let's just look at the Venn diagram now. It says item 12 refer to the Venn diagram. Let's see what they ask. Uh, what are the elements contained in the union of set A and the set B? Like we said, union mean you're combining them it's like a marriage so it would be all the elements contained in a and b combined so that's one two three four five six seven so let us see if we can find one with that one two three four five six seven so just go and see if we can find that all right so that would be d definitely remember all of them combine the union if it was the intersection it would mean what is common to both A and B. So if it's intersection, it would be this, all right? Three and four, all right? I'm just trying to note that because I don't know when I'm a teacher. We build the students them the right way, you know, peeps. No joke about it. Not even a hype or no. Nikki pays for two slices of cheesecake with $70 and get back six dollars change what is the price of one slice of cheesecake all right so boom the go shop with 70 dollars someone on a reasonable thing i'm not on a joke here. 70 dollars out boom give the shopkeeper the money whatever it is and give back six dollars change so that means eh, find out how much we two of them it would be 70 minus six so that will give us 64 right and two slices so we have to divide the 64 here by two to get the price we want. Simple as that. All right, so it's $32 for one. All right, let's see what the next one here says. If the cost of four parties and two soda is 320, how much would it, how much would two parties and one solar cost. What type of party do you think, guys? Is it the mm 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 or the mm 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 party? Yeah. If the 
if the cost of four parties, so basically, so four turn into two and two turn into one. So half that, no, so all of the base half 320. As you're buying half of what? We pay for, so it's 160. Very nice question though. All right. Let's go on to number 16. Hit that like button if you're just joining. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Luke bought a bike for $8,000 and wants to sell it for a profit of 20%. What is the selling price of what is the selling price of the bike? So you want to increase it by 20%, right? As I was discussing with my um you can actually find how easy a way, you know, guys, than the divide or whatever. All we have to do is just say 20% of a number five times. You can divide by five and you get 20% of a number. Because 100 divided by 20 is equal to five. Somebody didn't know that, you know. Let me say that again. 20% is the same thing as dividing by five. Just as though 50% is dividing by two, 20% is dividing by five, all right? So all we have to do is just divide this by five and we get 20% of the number and we add it to this. But we're not gonna do it that way there today because I just want you guys to know that. So I need to join my class, man. Come on, guys, I wanna go on with Join my class, man. If we are LP, you know, thing are normal, you know, it's a thing away, all right? So this cancel this, and then this cancel this. So we have that to give us 1,600. You guys go ahead and multiply, right? So this is 20%. So this is the profit. So we add it to the 8,000, and that is our answer, all right? So that's 9,600. So it's B. Whatever. This is a flash so. All right, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for joining. Plastic chairs are bought for $2,400 and sold at a loss of 10%. What is the selling price of the chair? So what we're gonna be doing is to decrease this 2,400 by 10%. And remember, 10% is the same thing as dividing by 10. That you guys didn't know that 100 divided by 10 is 10, right? So you divide it by 10 and you get two parts. But I'm going to show you the long way because, yo, join the class, guys. Join the class. Have a good chicks and every little thing to show the kids, you know. You know, so them can be, you know, very effective in maths. As we say, we think no, normal, you know, we're not even a hype it out. No, no, no. We just are doing things. Uh, pay them no money, you know. So that works out to $240. So this is the amount that we will actually lose. So what we do, we subtract 240 from 2,400. So it will be 2,400. Because remember, it's at a loss, all right? Minus 240. Oh, you know, some barrier never go on, though. Zero from zero, that's zero. Four from zero, you can't. So you borrow a three here. You step one. You step four from ten, leave six. You step one, and you step two thousand one hundred and sixty. As I say, guys, this is a standardized test all over the world. So um, it doesn't matter. All great students, whether in Australia, Africa, Asia, Nigeria, you got the car beyond. Yeah. All right. Anyway, our it's a standard, it's a standard test, all right? So Kerry bought a pot for 536 and sold it to make a profit of $70. What is the selling price? So boom, you buy it for 536. And you want to make $70 on it. Oh yeah, for the one on a fancy thing, you know. Just add $70 on the money. So you make your $70 and so what do you want so? Make nice look hard, so. Seven three ten. The charity one, the other one care by itself, you know, guys. So six hundred and six. All right. I'm sure I was looking for the answer. I mean, I realized it. 
it can only be this because these were in decreasing. I didn't realize. But anyway, it's good to show you guys this step. I don't know if you guys appreciate it, but trust me, guys, I really, really work hard. All right, let's look at number 19. It says 19 refers to the pie chart. The pie chart shows the hobbies of 150 boys. So what they are basically saying that there's a total of 150 boys, all right? So that's the first thing. We look at the information and we do it step by step. All right, so let's go now. And it says now, what is the size of the angle for the sector represented by the boys who like football? Here's my cursor. Says, okay. All right, so let's break down this for you guys because there's a lot happening that you guys probably don't realize. So first, it's a total of 150 boys. So let's just put that information. Remember, we use what they give us to get what we get. So we get 150 boys. Let's just look at football now. Football represent what are these 150? Only 20% goes to football. So all we have to do is find 20% of 150. And 20% is the same as divided by 5. I'm showing you the language. So we just find 20% of 150, and then we can go our merit. That's not the answer yet, so boop, boop. We can do this, this. So that's 30, all right? So that's basically 30 boys. So it's 30 out of the 150 boys. Times 360 degrees. Why 360 degrees? A circle is a revolution that measures 360 degrees, all right? So that is why we use 360. So let's cancel. Yeah. 3 into 3, 1. Yeah. 15 into that. Hello. 3 into that, or 5. And then we divide 5 into yeah. 360. So 5 7 35. Put the 2. Put the 1. So these are 2. So that's 72. Right here. All right, so it's very easy. Let's look at item 20. And item 20 refers to a bar graph. No, 21, 22, and 20, 21, 22 refers to a bar chart below. So, guys, you have to come back to the bar chart here. This is a very nice test, though. I like it. I like it. Let's see what it asks. Oh no, I don't see a question. Right, I guess it's up here. Let me just go there. Up here. Um, I need to go to some of them people here before I start today, you know, guys. Just to check if everything. All right. All right. It says, which grade was scored by the most? Which grade was scored by most of the students? So basically, it's asking for the mode or the tallest bar. So we could just go down there and see which bar is the tallest bar. So this could be this. This is the tallest one. Let's look at the answer now. This represents grades and this represents the number of boys. So that means number of students so right here is nine. So nine. Let's see, let's look at grade if it's if it's if it's the number of students is nine, if it's grade that's seven. I don't remember the question. All right, this says great, so it's 17. All right, so I have to reason out the thing now, guys. All right, it's tallest bar nine students got 17. How many students took the test? And I can definitely say that it's 48 because we got nine already plus eight. Uh, plus five, yeah, so plus four, plus five, plus three, plus one. Uh, this represent right here, represent the number of students, so this is six students. Uh, this is uh, four, and this is uh, three, 
So let me just add it and see if we get there. Because they could have made it closer. I don't know why they do it like that. So one plus three, that's four, plus five, nine, plus four, 13, plus five, 18, that's 26, 35, 31, 35, 38, you know, something going on. 48, one of them should have been 10, it's a 42. Yeah, when it was supposed to be 20, 35, I said 35. All right, but it's obvious because these numbers are too small. So, um, that was a giveaway. How many students got a grade which was less than 50? So, this is a very good question. Less than 50. So, I will actually find the grade that is 15. This is exactly who got 15. So, we can't include this, right? So, we have to start from here. So, so it's 1 plus 3, that's 4. Plus five, nine, plus four, 13. We could do it the other way, four and five, nine, and 13. So our answer is 13 because it's got less than 15. If it is less than or equal to, we that include five, but it's just less than, all right? We do not include 15. So let's go. It's on the paper, you know, guys. So we'll speed it up. I just want everyone to get. So it's 13, here we go. All right, and pictograph, guys, he's coming up in my Saturday class. Help people, look out for this, all right? Item 22 refer to the pictograph below. Pictograph showing the following, cookies sold by four students. They didn't give us a key, so I'm assuming that one of these represent one cookie. They're supposed to give you guys a key, you know? I don't know how they can do that, all right? Because sometimes, one art can represent 10, can represent five. So I think they should have stated it. However, they did not. So we're going to give them and so we're going to use it as one. All right. So that one represent. I noticed they pluralized these cookies. So I mean, you can't leave students hanging like that. But anyway, you can see now what I'm saying. How many cookies did Bruce and Peter so? so? We have, we have made Bruce and we have made Peter. That's very important. So let's see. Now count it as one. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is five. And this is one, two, three. And this is a half. So it's three and a half. So add these, as they say, all together. We add them three and five. That's for eight and a half. And it is in. See them number here? I don't know how them get that in because at the end of the day, they never give you the key for the cooking. I'm not get that. Why they never do that? It only say pictograph showing the number of cookies sold by four students. And this is a four student. So I don't know. Anyway, right, though, right. If they didn't give a key, but I use the knowledge. Um, for the younger ones, sometimes it can be very challenging, and they need to take that into consideration. Which of the following length is the longest? One meter, twenty-five decameter, or uh, one inch, one inch centimeter, or four hundred and fifteen millimeter. I remember this means this could not be one meter is one hundred centimeter. So it couldn't be one meter, all right, but that's small, 180. This is actually 41 centimeter. As a 10 millimeter, make one centimeter. So we can eliminate this. All right, so it would be this, so we call this. Well, the longest, because it's not, um, something like 10 centimeter make one decameter. Don't quote me on that. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah. All right. The grid below is made up of one centimeter square squares. What is the perimeter of the shape drawn on the grid? So they want the perimeter. So it's the total distance around. And each one of them is one. So I'm going to just count them. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, another one, we yeah, have twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, let us see if they give us that as an option. So the total distance around is 16. That is indeed correct. Uh, let me just find out something. What if they had asked us to find the area? They did not ask us. But what if they had asked us, right? Because I'm a mathematician. I'm a teacher. So I'm going to look out for you guys. So we'll quote the number of squares. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it is eleven squares. Eleven centimeters square. All right. I think. Let me see if they put eleven in it. No, them smart. You know. See them put eleven there, you know, guys. So some people go count the boxes and say eleven boxes there. Oh lord. Oh lord, guys. You have to know the difference between perimeter and area. All right. Let's move on to where are 24. Let me see something. Um, this was the last one, right? All right, this was not the last one. 26. What unit of measure is used to measure liquid for in a bottle? And that is a liter. And I'll look on the other one in a minute. time for this. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button for Lennox Bennett. Hit that like button. Mr. Bennett here. What is the time shown on a 24 hour clock? That's the most important thing, right? So basically, we start at 12. So that would be 12 plus 5, because it depends 5. So let me just see. So this is 13. Let me just show you guys. 14. 15, 16, 17, and 30, all right? So it's 17, 30. All right, so let's move on to 28. Notice it say it could be 5, it couldn't be 530, guys, because this is regular clock, right? This says 24 hour. All right, and if you misinterpret and put the hour on to 6, here yeah, we will get 625. So um, they, 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 they left a lot of room for misconception and a lot of room for errors. All right, this one says, which of the following responses provides the closest estimate? Uh, Jesus, when you see this in no stress. Of the era of the Pentagon, A, B, C, D, shaded on a square centimeter period. All right, so this is the, your opinion, the one. Closest, uh, boom. So this, them say from here, so the ears are two. What I would do is try for a square. So this is my square on the far, right? And it will be a two by two. So it will be here for this, two by two, so that is four. Four centimeters square. So my, as a my way. You know. So boom, we need to find the area for this. Let me go piece piece. Yeah. All right. So we can say this one two by one. This one two by one. This half is the. We can say this one two by one. So the area for this are two. That means that means all right. Then here you now. Triangle piece them. If this or that, if you have to find out about this. So, me that say the area for this are one. So, the area for this are one. The area for this are one. So, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yes, sir. 39, you know. This is a random of 10. 
So the area would have been changed. That are my estimate. And if you have an unique way of working out that, you can share it with me definitely. Leave that in the comment section. It says, how many lines of symmetry does a square have? All right, so this is a square. So this is a be one. So here it is. This make two. So this make three. Yes, and this make four. So our answer is four. As if you use this and fold over, you know, I get the example of that, and vice versa. So that's four. Which of the following shape is a prism and a pyramid? And then 31 now. In which of the following diagram does the broken line represent the line of symmetry? The should come so boom. It's going to get a line of symmetry. You no, know, it's going to fall over. So this is a line of symmetry. This is definitely not. First, I'll go down and see which one you can find. Brings me to wonder if the square of four lines of symmetry. You know. All right, so it would definitely be this. So it is. I need to um look into that one. Thinking about it. I know the rectangle does have the line of symmetry like that. All right, let's look at 32. We're almost there, guys. It's a, in the diagram, not drawn to scale. What is the size of angle P? So this is 62 degrees. Well, this makes 90 degrees. But remember, all of this is 90. 180 degrees angles and a straight line. So if this are 90, this plus this, this plus this should make 90. So it's 90 subtract 62, and this will give us 28. All right. So the key is to know that this is 90 degrees. And angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. All right, so let's go, let's go. Try to refer to the mark angle, which best describe. Well, notice the mark out here, so, so that would be a reflex. Let's go, let's go. Hit that like button if you're just joining and watch back the video from the start. How many vertices does the prism below have? All right, so let's go. So. The vertices is where they meet right here. So that's one, two line meet at the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one is eight. So that should be eight. There's no more. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so it's eight. All right, in the in the diagram, in the figure below, the triangle ABCD and PQR are are congruent. What is the perimeter? What is the perimeter of the triangle ABC? So let's say they are congruent. So let us just investigate what information they give us. God, some of the information gone. Oh, Lord. This is actually six. You know, the original paper, this is six, this is eight, right here is ten, right? So Basically, this is 10. All right, so right here is 6. So all I have to do for any perimeter, we add all of them. So 10 and that 18 and that 24. Sorry about that, but that should be 6. Here we go. Our perimeter is a total distance around, and it's 24. 
Hit that like button, guys. I hope you are right now for this The net below represents which of the following shapes. All right, so these are the net. I'm going to say which one of them here. All right, so we know say it's a rectangle base, right? And then it's a triangle. So, all right, we'll see. Nice. So, our rectangle base, right? And this is here. Definitely not. There must be that one. Here. Yeah, definitely be. Definitely be. See how much easy, guys? Hit that like button. Yeah. Hit that like button. All right, so let's move on to 37 and see what's happening. All right, what is the name given to the line segment AC? So let us just go back on the table, the more table, and the circle. AC, so that is this line right here. So it's a fraction the circumference so that makes it an arc so this one makes an arc all right um if they had asked for like o d or o c that would be the radius and if they had asked from c to d that would be the diameter Remember the diameter is a line drawn from the center. Remember from the center. From the circumference to the center of the circle and sit exactly on the circumference. This one right here should be a card. And this portion right here would be segment. And right here, put this right here, or this could be called a sector, right? Either one of them is called a sector. Educate me, educate you know, peeps. When I, when I do a quick life, when I do a quick month, all right? Hit that like button. Because we don't know what they're going to bring in exam, so we have to prepare students as much as possible and um as i see the word circumference circumference is the entire length the right row right right row right row and row that is the circumference and the arc is a fraction of the circumference let's move on to 38 and it says in the diagram below which given pair of line segments are parallel we know that parallel lines are lines that run in the same direction and the distance between them remain constant so they can never ever be. All right, so let's proceed and see. So it's A, B, and B, D. I tell you what. A, B, and B, D. I'm going to have to minimize it so we can look at it. Maybe that, that makes sense. So let me just minimize it so we can see everything at once. A, B, this is this one, and B, D, no, that's not it. A, C, which is A, C, and A, B, no. So we're on to C now. E, C, so this is E, C, and E, D, no, that's it. E, B, and A, C, so E, B, S, so. E, B, S, O, and A, C. No, that's not parallel. So it must be the last one. But let us see if it's correct. A, C, and so A, C, which is this line right here. And B, D. Which is this line right here. All right, so this is correct. Let us just investigate something. Um, this, if they had said E, C, and A, B, these two would have been parallel also. So, but they did not give us that as an option. E, C, 
and they, they did not give us that as an option. So just find out. So we have to use what they give us. So 39, let me just maximize this one again. 39, given that w equal 4 and y equal 3, determine the value of 3 w plus y squared. So 3 w means 3 times w. But we know that the value of w is 4 plus y squared, which is 3 squared. So 3 times 4, that's 12. 3 times 3 is 9. So we add that and we get 21. So there we go. Our answer would be hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Party. When 3 is subtracted from twice a number x, the result is 24, which I call an equation below. So let's see that. So we have to twice it first. So 2x minus 3, and our answer should be 24. Let me see if that option is option there. Yeah. So this would be very easy. All right, so 41. Oh, I'll go on this one. Oh. It says if P is equal to. It says that P is equal. If 2P plus 4 is equal to A, then P is equal to. So all we have to do is to solve for P. This is what we call a linear equation. Very popular topic. Everyone should be able to do this. We have one zero part of channel. So we get rid of this four by subtracting four or taking the inverse. So the minus four. So we are left with two p is equal to eight minus four. That leaves us with four. And then we divide by two. So therefore, p is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now let us check to see if it's correct. Hit that like button, guys. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8. So that is indeed correct. So 41 is 2. All right. Mary is 9 years younger than J. If Mary age is given by M, all right, so Mary at M. So let's put that now. We'll put M with the information and we'll kind of just separate over here. And Jane age is given by J. So Jane and J. All right, let's see what I'm asking now. Which of these represent the information? All right. So Mary is nine years younger than Jane. That means that Jane are the older one. All right. So it's nine years younger. Oh. Which of these represent information? All right. So if Mary is nine years younger, so it could be J. This couldn't be this, let's eliminate this. Jane is the older one, and Mary is nine years younger. No, so it couldn't be this. Mary age is Jane minus nine. Because remember, Mary, see there, Mary is nine years younger. So if Jane are 20, Mary are 11. That's how we could get it, right? But let us say me um Jane at 20. Just to prove to you guys that it's correct. Um Jane would be 11 because it is she is nine years younger, alright? So that would leave us with this. That's how we could find here it is. We could eliminate the multiplication because that would make no sense. Alright. All right, this one says simplify 3x plus 4y minus 2x plus 6y. So what we need to do is to group the like terms. So it will be 3x minus, remember, bring the sign that is in front of it. Let's so put all the x's together. Uh, as 
as I said, these are already on my channel, so I need to check out that. So this would give us x plus 10y. See if we find that option. That is option D. All right, guys, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let's get ready for Linux Denny channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you read so far, all right, what's in it? Only the genius that I'm going to read so far. All right, we have the following coordinate pair solve the formula 2x plus 5. Just tell me now. It's a great series. How am I going to win this? And what you want to do is to put this for x, but this is the x coordinate, and see which one is given the y. All right, so we'll put two into this so two times, and just do the first one to kind of show you guys. We're supposed to get three for the answer, right? So two, two is four, plus five, that's the nine. So this should be nine if it was correct, all right? So this wrong. Okay, I'll freestyle the other one. Two, two is four, plus five. Oh, this is a tree. Tree for the year, so sorry. So yeah, I still get seven. So it is wrong. This wrong. Two, two is four, plus five, that are nine. So we can eliminate this. So try four now. Two, four is eight. Plus eight plus five, that are 30. So I must the last one. It's a strike, no? Two ones. Let me see. Two ones, two. Plus five equals seven. Right. I think this is a bit rough for grades 7 still. Nevertheless, it's, it's a standard design. So, I guess in some parts of the world, they already did that. For the 5, in order to get a certain apartment, Richard had to pay a non refundable deposit of $1,000 and a monthly rent of R. dollars Which formula below? Below gives the total amount of money that we charge must be. So the first thing we know is say this one thousand is flat and it's constant. All right. So whatever it is, we just know that thousand. And then I get back that the deposit money. All right. Plus and the monthly rent of R. So whatever R is monthly, you never say a year. So it would be plus R. We can't we cannot say uh no something like that. And a monthly. Oh for twelve months. Come here and say, oh come here, see that. 12 months, yeah, man. Remember, it's a each month I give R, so 12 times R. I didn't see the 12 months now, guys. So I was saying, oh, come. I didn't see this, so it's actually this 100 plus 12 R, so it's this. So I have to look on what more eyes, all right? Hit that like button, hit that like button. All right, if a point. If point A moves two units to the right and one unit upward from the origin, what are the coordinates of the new position? And we have to even understand this. It's very tough for um a seven unit. For you seven graders, right? If I did if I didn't do graph. But I guess this would be at the end. Yeah, you yeah, will definitely learn graph, right? But let's just put some numbers to kind of put it in perspective. So the origin means the point zero zero. So we are here. Let us just follow what the instructions say we are to do, and then we can see at what point we be. All right. They so say if point A moves two units to the right, so here so so you come to know. Let's change the color just to show you guys. I love showing students how to do things because I believe in swapping. So two units. So it's one. Anyway, guys, it, it's on the line. Just imagine it's on the line, all right? And one unit, as you know, one unit up. So here we go. One unit. So this will be the point. Read x first, which is this. 
times at the x-axis, so it will be 2, and then the y is x2, and 1 x2. Very nice question. Alright, so it's 2, 1. A silver problem. It will be almost true. Thank you guys so much for staying. So I really appreciate you all. Hit that like button. If you have not hit that like button yet. What is the coordinates of the point where the horizontal and the vertical axis intersect? And I just showed you, ironically, I just showed you that it's a point zero, zero are the origin. Origin, origin. All right, but if which of the following pairs x and y does not satisfy the relationship x plus y is equal to 6. So 1 plus 5 that are 6, 2 plus 4 that are 6, 7 plus negative 1 that are 6, so that left with 1 plus 6 or 7, so that does not satisfy it, alright? So you guys have to read it very, very carefully. Item 49 and 50, the part of the graph below. Alright, Bam, bam, bam. All right, what are the coordinates of point C? So C is right here. Actually, ironically, I just did that. So it's 2, 1. So I just did that up here so for you. All right, let me see that one here now. Let me see that one. Let me see that one. Okay, okay. So it's about 50. What is common to the point E and B? The x coordinates are the same. This one is the last one, so let me just call it up. So I need to see everything at once. So it's a the x coordinates are the same. Let us investigate that. Oh wait, I need to find out what what oh point A and B. The x coordinates are the same, but it's a line. Alright. So here so for A, x are one, y are three, and this x are four. And y achieve so the y coordinate are the same so we can eliminate this one like the, the y coordinates are the same yes that is correct right so the y coordinate is the same so there we have it we have our winner all right just to prove it let us go through everything that they say there are four there are four units from the x-axis. No, this is the x-axis. There are not four units. There are three units from the x-axis. So that would be false also. I know when get the answer, they will still have got three. There are three units from the y-axis. And this is the y-axis. And there are only, well, not the, this is one unit and this is four units. So that's definitely wrong. All right, let me just pick it up so you guys can see. Um, hit that like button, guys. If you have not hit the like button, hit that like button. All right, this is Mr. Bennett. Please ensure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed. And please share so others can get the benefit. This is Mr. Bennett. I'm out, no doubt.